各位观众，晚上好。我们今天要玩《Luna 二：永恒呃蔚蓝》，or as we know in English, Luna 2: Eternal Blue Complete. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our usual Monday stream. It's nice to be back. I was away during the weekend, but I'm here now. Oh ho ho ho! Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and load up here. Uh, okay, I need to go to Zulu. No, I'm in Moribia. I believe I'm about to talk to the master of the village. Anyway, uh, since no one's here yet, I should probably make sure that I am indeed online. Uh, because I don't know. I don't know. You just never know. Anyway, uh... Oh, hello! Oh, drunk? Oh, no! Let me fix that right now. Oh, of course. I connected... I didn't connect it earlier, so... It's big some of the driver, wrong driver mode. Is it better now, or is it still bad? <laughs> I almost like wondering if I should just have. Well, anyway, better. Okay, good. Well, now the screaming you're here. Got them. Just kidding. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Oops. I'm trying to give myself a little more space here so I can sit. All right. All right, we talked to everybody already, so let's go ahead and talk to the master of the house. All right, from what I remember, he sounds like a stereotypical Mr. Like Mr. Miyagi from uh, Karate Kid. Oh my goodness, do I have to use this accent? It's it's actually kind of like not how real Japanese is like. Like, Japanese English doesn't sound like that, but whatever. But I mean, I mean, oh, to be fair, the guy who played um, Mr. Miyagi was Japanese American, so it's not exact. It's not like he was disrespecting the like trying to be disrespectful. But it just kind of sounds funny. It sounds very stereotyped. You're gonna watch while lying. It's really hot there. Interesting. <laughs> It's actually um, mild. The temperature was okay this today. It wasn't too warm, so. Uh, but it, I know earlier, like when I was gone, it was very hot. In Las Vegas, it was about. Uh, that's about 50 degrees. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, it was 50 degrees Celsius. Don't you love that? 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Celsius. I love it. Like roughly 50 degrees. Oh my god, or roughly 122. <laughs> Ooh! But thankfully here in San Francisco, it's a lot more reasonable. Anyway. <clears throat> now then, Jean. You say that you and your friends need my help. But you haven't said why. Master Lun, have you heard of a martial art called the Shadow Dragon Fist? I'm afraid I've never heard of it, Jean. And I've heard of every martial art. Are you sure that? Yes, Lun, it's real. It's a martial art of pain, darkness, and death. It's the art of the assassin. An assassin's art? How horrible. The man who teaches this art is a coward who hides behind a mask. His name is unknown. 
He kidnaps helpless children, he breaks their fragile minds, and he teaches them to kill. She's probably speaking from experience here. His victims become mindless soldiers, willing to do anything for their masked master. Willing to kill in the name of the Shadow Dragon Cult. How sickening. How horrible. How did they know- How do you know so much of this cult, Jean? Did they kidnap someone close to you? Not quite, Master Lun. They kidnapped... Me. What? Oh, Jean! It can't be true, Jean! You're, you're just making all this up to get Lun to help us, aren't you? No, Ruby. It's true. It's all true. I still have nightmares. And I still remember what happened on the day I escaped. <sighs> so, as as you, we probably already guess, uh, Jean is a former child soldier, which is actually, is super messed up, by the way. <laughs> it's messed up in the real world, and it's certainly messed up in fantasy land, too. <laughs> So, it is not... It's pretty horrible that to force children to become killers be against their will, I guess. So, I mean, not I guess, against their will. It was, this is really bad. Alright, so you're gonna see what happens. So, she was probably grew up that way. You're a liar! You've lied since the beginning! The Shadow Fist isn't an art of strength! It's an art of death! Smeared in the blood of the innocent! Ying... Uh, Ying Long Chen, uh, I guess, yeah, Shadow Dragon Fist. And hello, Zion Corvid, welcome. Have you already forgotten my teachings, Jean? Strength means nothing unless it is wielded. The Shadow Dragon Fist is not the art of death. It is the art of ultimate strength! Shut up! Your words are lies, and your heart is black! I won't do your bidding any longer! Why do you run from us, Jean? Oh yeah, I did this scene earlier, but I'll just go ahead and do it again. Wherever you may go, you will take our teachings with you. <sighs> your soul now thirsts for blood, and your body aches to quench it. Come to me, Jean. Come to me and accept your destiny within the cult of the Shadow Dragon. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I guess I, I think so. Are you angry, Jean? Are you angry enough to strike at me? Stand up and use what I have taught you. Allow the anger to infiltrate your soul. I... I won't fight you! I won't use the Shadow Dragon Fist! You don't control me anymore! Not true, Jean. I control your life, and I summon your death! <laughs> so he pushed her off a cliff. I guess it's a miracle. I was found near death. At the bottom of the cliff, by a traveling caravan. They brought me back from the brink of death, and took me in as one of their own. Since that day, I've been trying to forget my past, to block it completely out of my mind. But now, I know I can't live like that anymore. I have to confront it, no matter how much it hurts. I have to find the masked man and make sure he doesn't do to any other children what he did to me. Jean. Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna continue talking so we can hear his response to all this information that we've just given him. <laughs> A little weird, but okay. 
Yeah, this game's weird. It has it cuts off at random parts of the conversation and forces you to continue it. Okay. Jean, thank you for bringing this Shadow Dragon cult to my attention. I cannot forgive anyone who would train helpless children in the ways of such evil. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your story has reminded me of rumors which were recently brought to my attention. A group of bandits have been robbing travelers in the vicinity of Taben's Peak. And your description of the Shadow Dragon Cult matches the descriptions of the bandits. I thought it was just a pet band of petty thieves, but it seems that I was wrong. Jean, I would ask a favor. Go to Taben's Peak and search for a link between the bandits and the Shadow Dragon Cult. Once you locate their hideout, I will lead an attack upon it. Know this. I will bring them to justice, one way or another. I never thought you would do so much for, so much for us. I will do all that you have requested of me. Thank you, Master Lun. Jean, you do not dress like someone who practices the martial arts. After I escaped from the cult, I swore that I would never use karate again. The Shadow Dragon Fist is the art of assassination. It's evil and it's wrong. You must realize that martial arts are neither good nor bad. There is only strength and weakness, and the goddess needs her children to be strong. The, te the people who taught you may have been misguided, but their teachings are still valuable. Jean, I want you to join my dojo and uh, dojo and trade under my supervision. Together, we will serve Althena. I need time to consider your kind offer, offer, Master Lun. For now. I only want to travel to Taben's Peak and find proof of the Shadow Dragon Cult. Jean, have you at last decided to accept my offer and train under my supervision? I guarantee that you will learn much from me and you will be a great warrior of Althena. Lun, I need more time to think about your offer. I appreciate your concern for me. But I don't know if I want to devote my life to fighting. All I want is to help destroy the Shadow Dragon Cult. Okay, so I guess that's all I can get out of him. Alright, let's go. Okay, it didn't stop me, so I didn't like... But wait! So we're gonna go to Taven's Peak now. I've already talked to all the NPCs once before, so I'm not gonna go through and talk with them again. Too much effort. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay. I think I've already talked to these people before, too. Have I? Maybe I haven't, actually. No, I haven't. Oh, I, I think I just took, went straight in, that's why. Anyway, whatever. Uh, let me come back up and then reset the conversation so I can hear it all the way from the beginning. Taben's Peak? Well, it's not far to the east of Moribia, but I'd stay away from there. A group of bandits has been terrorizing that area, and they take no prisoners. Okay, he just says the same thing. Now let's actually read what he says. Ha ha! Ha ha! I just signed up with this dojo, and they're gonna show me how to kick butt! Ha ha! They said I have to do chores and stuff until I prove that I'm ready for combat! Ha ha! I'll show them that I'm even better at the Blue Dragon Fist than Lun! Ha ha! That'll be cool! Ha ha! 
since you have time to talk to me, maybe you could help me with these chores. Ha ha! Ha ha. Ha ha! No, I'm just joking. That's the, <laughs> the French laugh. The stereotypical French laugh. Apparently, we're gonna head to Tabin's Peak soon and attack a group of bandits. But we don't know how many bandits there are. What if we are outnumbered two to one? I don't care how, how skilled we are. I'll choose the bigger army over the smaller one every time. Uh, sorry, am I sounding negative? I've always been pessimistic. Maybe I should stay behind and watch the dojo while the others go and fight the bandits. I mean, someone has to keep the floors waxed and the windows sparkling, right? Okay, coward. Ooh, I'm sorry, I had to burn him. I've seen Master Lun defeat an opponent with a single punch to the throat. It's awe-inspiring. I intend to study the art of the Blue Dragon Fist until I can do that too. Wow, punch to the throat. That sounds painful. Welcome to Lun's Dojo. Dojo. I am Lun's personal assistant and I answer only to the master. I have earned this trust over many years. And been the loser in many sparring matches between us. Are you here to enroll in our school and embrace the way of the Blue Dragon Fist? You have come at an excellent time, as Master Lun is available to speak with new recruits. Our most infamous sparring match pits Master Lun against a dozen opponents at once. <coughs> Excuse me. He's never lost yet, and I highly doubt that he ever will. He's too strong and too fast! Oh wow. So he's used to taking down a lot of opponents at the same time. Attack me! Now! Attack me! Now! Good! Good! You were able to improvise and re to react with great speed! Okay, people. They are both say the same thing. Are you new recruits? Your first lesson is not to interrupt the te teacher during a training session. If I don't keep my eyes on these beginners, they're liable to put each other's eyes out. Keep your guard up. That's it. Good. Now, adjust your stance to stay low. Lower. Good. I told you, I'm not going to take it easy on you today. I hope you're prepared to receive a severe beating because I'm very prepared to give it to you. All right, fat boy, show me what you can do. Yeah, wah, ha, ouch. Man, that really hurt. Was that supposed to hurt? Because it did. Because it did. Okay. That's it. Watch your opponent's movements and strike when he is unprepared. Do you understand? Huh? Do you have business with me? I'm sorry, I, but I can't speak to you until these training exercises are complete. If you'll excuse me... Don't try to take out your foe at the start of the battle. Bide your time and wait for an opening. Hiya! Kind of makes you scared hearing me scream like that, doesn't it? I figure if I scream loud enough, I'll deafen my opponents and win my sparring matches by default. Well, I mean, intimidation is a real thing, but you know. Dagger, this might come in handy. Uh, honestly, I don't think it'll actually come in handy. Yeah, dagger is terrible at this point in the game. <laughs> is there something I can help you with? Oh, oh, you want to know why I'm standing here? The chances of anyone daring to steal a weapon from Lun's do dojo are very slim. But I've been stationed here to guard them, just in case. It's a very boring job, I assure you. Okay, he just says the same thing. Let's go down and see what's here. Secret passage? No, I'm joking. When I joined this dojo, dojo I was hoping to study the Blue Dragon Fist and be just like Master Lun. What I wasn't expecting was to be placed in charge of guarding this crappy storage area. Sorry dude, 
they might steal things. You can't go through there, so... <laughs> Why would they put him down there? I was just like, that doesn't seem very cool to be stuck in there guarding the area. Probably leave Moribia, cause I got no money, no money to buy much of anything. So we'll just have to make do with what we got. All right, let's move along here. Alright, here's Taven's Peak. We ha- <clears throat> We have to be mega careful around here! Taven's Peak is just ahead! And this is where Master Lund said most of the robberies are taking place! Keep your eyes peeled and your hands on your valuables! Ronfar, take your hands out of your pants! Just following order. <coughs> Just following orders. Oh, you're disgusting. Oh, and hilarious. Well, I'm glad you find it funny, Gene. Ew, Ronfar, please. Okay, she just says the same thing as if you, as I, as she did earlier. Who the heck is that? Is that no? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle-in-law. It's the spitting image of you, Ruby. Except it's white. Is that null? Hey, I thought you were supposed to be one of a kind. I... I thought I was. Hey, you over there! Wait up! Are you deaf or something? I said wait! I feel like the lines are rushed, but whatever. Is that null? Ox Put me down this Cut scene. You think you are? Uh -huh. Gotcha, you little twerp. My name is Nall. What are you doing on my property? I don't welcome trespassers, so you'd better have a good story. Hmm. Nall? That's the name of the the cat beast, or uh, the drag, the mini dragon from the previous game. Is that? Is it the same null as the previous game? Well, I mean, dragons do live pretty long, so... But he still looks pretty youthful, so... But I don't know, it may not... Or is it just another mini dragon that's the same name as the previous null? I have no idea. <clears throat> anyway. Try to grab me like that again, and I'll chew your fingers off! Those are some very big words from such a little... Cat? Can't be, but it has to be. <gasps> oh great! Not only are you rude, but you're crazy. Stop mumbling to yourself, and stop staring at me. Don't you know it's impolite to o to o ogle a beautiful lady? Ogle, right? Is it ogle? Ogle? I always say, I think it's ogle. No, you. No, you don't. Never mind. I'm not going to. I'm not going to take any guff from a big cat with a big mouth. Listen here, Taven's Peak is our property, uh, property, and you're trespassing. I don't have the time to escort you out of here, but I'm sure you can make it on your own. Don't let me find you around here again, or I'll have to take more drastic action. Goodbye. That boy is nothing but a rude, crude pain in the butt! G, 
Jean, was he a member of the Shadow Dragon Cult? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm, I don't think so. I don't remember ever seeing his face. His aura was not one of evil, but it was unusual. Perhaps he is... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, sure! Gang up on me and tell me what a nice guy he is! You wouldn't feel the same way if he yanked on your wings! Let's see where he's going, hero! What's with this music? I guess we'll just stay on Mystic Runes up to... Life Jewel. This might come in handy. Alright. <laughs> this song. What the heck? <laughs> I guess we're gonna go up now. This time there shouldn't be someone blocking the way. All right, as you know, it's time for dungeons. Oh, yeah, they're so narrow they're impossible to avoid. So, all right, so these look like stronger versions of previous enemies we fought. Uh, regular attacks. Are they also weak to Boomerang? No, they're not weak to Boomerang. Squall? No. That doesn't seem to do anything. I could Vortex, but that's probably overkill for how much I need. Uh, I'll just hit them with a Cross Boomerang. Uh, let's use Anger Dice. They're not particularly weak against that. Uh, Butterfly Dance does normal damage. Dream Dance does normal damage. Bee Dance does normal damage. And Enchanted Kiss does normal damage. Uh, well... Uh, I could try putting them all to sleep. Why not? Uh, Flame Shot does normal. Oh, ice. they're weak to ice, so that would be useful to know. Yeah, let's just hit one of them. Ow! Gypsy magic! Nice. They put all of them to sleep. Dodge this. That's very powerful. That they don't they don't have that much Lady HP. So they have like about maybe they have a hundred HP, is my guess. Yeah, they have like eighty I'm like stolen. ninety ninety HP or something. Okay, then wow, that did a ton of damage. Pain. I think like maybe it was Itami. Wow, 64. Yeah, they're they're chumps. They they're really not much of a threat. The, the they did 29 damage on the attack. So yeah, these look like powered up versions of. Oh, why? Oh dang! It. I should have saved actually. All right, so we have the uh, Dream Leech this time. Uh, honestly, I could probably just attack normally. Uh, clean litany. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Um, uh, are they? Dream dance has no effect on the the monster behind. The bee dance does not either. And then Chan kiss. So the the girl behind is immune to all status elements. Okay. Uh, can we afford it? Yeah, you know what? Let's just remove that. Whatever. Ice pick is they're weak to ice pick. Ice does double damage on them, but they are weak to the flames. Actually, that's a good good idea. So I will use flames on them, dream dance on them, and then flame shot on. Yeah, it may not work. Ow! 
that. That. Lady Luck be 